Let's don't. Okay. Hey guys, it's Aria Moon here, and I'm here with I'm Alive. Hey. Woo. What up, guys? So, figured why not get a Utah YouTuber with Utah Band. Oh, I like it. I think it's a perfect thing. I'm in the perfect oh, chair. The cute little chair. It's because I'm short, isn't it? <laughs> okay. You're interrogator. Oh, shit. She's interrogating us. They found out what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm innocent for now. For now. All right. So we got some cards that I decided right. to come up with. That's awesome. That's I right. stole help from her. She's in the background noise. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're just going to hop right into it. And how'd you all meet? Oh, uh, just circumstances, really. Like, uh, I think Alex and I probably met, well, he met our guitarist, Caleb, first. Uh, they've known each other for years, and then Alex and I met, and then uh, Wesley used to be a friend of my sister's, so that's how we met him. And then our bassist, uh, you know their guitar center? Yeah, Alex met her. I met everybody center. when they were 19. <laughs> <laughs> this was not planned. It just fell into no, place like that. That's actually really cool. You're gonna love the last one. <laughs> 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 That's really cool you made those. Yeah, it was Seriously. last minute. Yeah, was a, it was total last minute. It was in the car. Nice! Oh shit. I actually have a friend I've been friends with 11 years. It's amazing. Nice. <laughs> I'm so young. Um, <laughs> where do you guys see the band in five years? Europe. Europe? Yeah, man, in one year. Man, in like five years, I want to... Got no, like, I, want, I want a stage up on the Dude, mountain, castle. up on the peak over there. Yeah, you you come stay with and us. I want so such big. a big sound system right. that, that it plays home. over all of our. Oh yeah. All right. Well, this we is my dad's hometown concert. too, so like cool. I think he'll approve of that. Nice. Your dad is hike. cool. I have fun out here. Yeah. Um, stay away from my drug addict. Uh oh, she's coming to kill us. Yeah, I'll do it. Not yet. Not on camera. Got a lot of down home. Yeah, your friends. Yeah. I actually have some homies down here too. So. Yeah, I just stay, like I said, stay away from drug addicts and gangsters, and it's cool. Ogden is way cool. Oh, crap, I can't stay away from my brother. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, I just threw him totally under the bus. Both of those things. We Do you see you. this? You know so it's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you could write a song about anything, just anything, it could be the dumbest thing ever, what would it be? <clears throat> Jake from State Farm. <laughs> That's, That's actually goal. true. We're writing a song. Are you serious? About Jake from the State I am. I love that. I want to hear this. This is my goals. Uh, <laughs> and you'll really, I, I think you'll really like it. It's yes. super cool. Yeah. It's super pop punky, like bouncy fun. We're at work on a cover right now. That's Ooh, what we do. Nice! Spilled so some tea. It's something that appeases people before our CD comes out. Oh, nice! Uh, very happy, It's a weak throw. Oh. Hey! I throw shade at you. I throw mess. better. You should like Which make him in a ninja star. As a girl. I <laughs> would try, but that would take too much time and effort, and I'm lazy. <laughs> this guy's a ninja. Yeah, that's what he oh. told me. Yeah. All right, this is a genuine, serious question. Are you going to hell? Already I'm been going there. to heaven. We're all going to go. <laughs> I've already <laughs> been there. <laughs> it's not like the conference. You got to go through hell to get to heaven. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's fair enough. You gotta face your demons. That's fair enough. And don't be an <laughs> asshole, right? You gotta treat people the way you wanna be treated. So be you know? an asshole. And eye for eye, the world will be blind, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you know what? Some I'm might like to say I'm really grateful for these guys yeah. because we've been through some very difficult times in our lives. We've been through our lives. I happen to go through one of my worst and most times. When I met these guys, I mean, shit went down. They still welcomed me back, you know, little break, and then I came back. And like, That's really awesome. It's just, yeah, it's, it's super special. It's, it's really nice to have friends nice. like that. True homies. Yeah, we never gave up. We, there's something special going on when we play music, so we got to keep that. People go through their, their points in life. As long as you get through it and you know, keep the people you love around you. I approve of this message. <laughs> so, yeah, it's magic. Magic hands. <laughs> yes, I have first video I remember watching. Jazz hands. <laughs> this is not the first yes. video I remember. This is one of the first ones I remember seeing. <laughs> I like this shirt. 
Mine fits. <laughs> yeah. I like his shirt. Captain America. I didn't know I saw that. That was actually great. <laughs> What's the first rule about Fight Club? What's the first you should know. rule? You should know this, man. <laughs> you know what talking about Fight Club. What's Fight Club? I've never heard of that. I don't know what you're talking What's about. That? You guys didn't see this. <laughs> Agreed. All right. Edit that part out. What's your favorite venue to perform at? Only you tell me to understand. But. Wow, Burning Theater, but they closed down. That was like oh. the best place in the world, or best place in, all, in around besides like, I guess probably Solitaire, but that was the best place we played. That place it was super fun, but they closed it down. It's super sad. And the last band I watched there was Issues. Oh, I love watching Issues like They're energetic. Oh, it, was, it was sweet. They smoked Jay like that big. <laughs> and then Tyler Carter. He has a picture. It was it was yeah, huge. Not upstate, Jeez. But up him like of him hanging out. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was a giant cross J. It was the holiest thing. Power of joint compelling. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's alright. I'm tired, guys. This is why I have coffee. Um, what's your favorite? <coughs> Wait, I already said that. What was yours? Do you guys have a favorite, you? or was it just the same? I'd say my shower is probably one of the. My favorite thing. You know what? Me yeah. too. Yeah, personal. Um, I don't know. I, I had a perfect opportunity to say something. Wash it as fast as you can. I don't know. I feel like the bigger, the better. Kind of, but in many ways, the small is really cool. Like loading docks. Yeah, it's it's loading really dogs. small, but it's fun to have people like that. Yeah, I like loading docks. And the biggest is the you're just silent and agreeing with everyone. Dude, one of these days you're going to get beat up for it. Ask Kim <laughs> that question. I tried. These are all directed at all of you. He does a lot of nice things for us. He's us. been recording oh. for us, making some music, some videos, some editing. He's busy. Yeah, he's like this the is wizard. How I feel. He's a creator. He just creates. All right, so we are to write at you. Right. What's your favorite food? <laughs> My favorite food is this. I love the really sesame good. tofu from Food Drive. <laughs> Booty Dragon, Riddle Dale, Charles. Literally just saying that. Yeah. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite food? Uh, the vegan buffalo ranch pizza from the park. Are you vegan? Or do you just like. I eat plant based vegan whatever. I don't really call myself that. I'll eat some shrimp here and there. working on the transit. Sushi. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, right on, man. Yours? I like fried rice, and it's don't get like it's not a stereotypical thing. I have fun eating that stuff. <laughs> it's it's convenient, so nice. you know. It's all mixed up. You cook whole. This is for all of you, so all of you have to answer. Looking at you. Okay. If you could collab with one musician, who would it be? Just one. And not a band, one single musician, oh. anybody, anyone. I would collab with Lorenz Walsh from I Am Mighty. Mm -hmm. Excellent songwriter. <clears throat> Absolutely look up to him. All the ways that, that him and his whole band are just incredible. I love their music. I always just, I've always loved their music since they came out with the uh, Karma Never Sleeps is when I was listening to them. One of their like newer EPs, I guess, when they first got signed. That's awesome. Dang. I stumped them. Nailed it. Well, I have a song that involves Haley from Paramore. I need her <laughs> on it, but I don't know how to get in contact with her. If she ever watches this, uh, please. Dude, if you ever up. watch this, this is cool for me. Cause, uh... <laughs> but, I, yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to do a song with her. Just because that's how I wrote it. It's called Best Man at a Wedding. It's just a, a cute little story about being at a wedding. And not friends with benefits, but like close friends <laughs> turning their back and stuff. It's a cool story. That's actually really cool. Well, if you ever get in contact with her, I need to hit up as soon as possible. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> you can be here. Like, you know, I'm cool too, you know. You're an She's cool. Cringy, but I'm cool. <laughs> you? I think uh, Brad can get scared. He's like one of the best guitar players that I know, and he's mainly really creative. And I love their band, and they work their butts off, and they've been helping us out a lot. And if we ever had a chance, or if I had ever had a chance, 
that'd be one of the guys I would love to work with. Because, like I said, he's really creative and you know, has a lot of fun. I think that's pretty cool. I actually just got reached out <laughs> to September morning. I don't know if you guys know them. Yeah, we opened up for them. At yeah. The Star, yeah. Yeah, I just started um, talking to them. And that's so cool. I think nice. that's an opportunity for, what's it called? Interview. Yeah. Definitely. I don't even know what I'm definitely. doing, apparently, guys. <laughs> But She's a little special, but she works. Well, uh, working. I, just, I just hung out with Nick Matthews a week ago at, at a bar up here on 25th. And, uh, That's awesome. So I'll be seeing them around, and, and they, you know, we're working on that one right now. And so That's awesome. Not jealous you know, at all. It, it's not far fetched to get an interview. All of us. Yeah. Ooh. That'd be fun. I'm just saying, if y'all hit me up. <laughs> For another interview, I'm so down because I don't have real life. That's, I have too much of a life. I have way too much yep. of a life right now, actually. This was actually a miracle to get this scheduled as early as I did. Oh. Yeah, like, you. If you could actually be a musician? No! That's rude! Like, be that person. If you could be one musician, like, that you highly look up to, like, it could be a dead one or it could be a live one. Not because they're dead. Don't be the musician because they're dead. Mm. Be the musician because you like them. Mm. Who would that be? Who dead though? Who dead be? Oh, well, my first show was Made in Green, so I think Derek Saunders is a super cool dude. That's awesome. Yeah, I look up to him. If I could think of anything, if that's like the first guy I ever saw on stage performing to me. So it's like I saw like a small band and I love it. What about you two? Uh, I would just have to go back to the Brent Walsh answer. I feel like it's pretty similar for me in the same situation. I think he's amazing. You met, you met him before, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Way back when uh right before the release that Carmen never sleeps out when I was in a band in high school. We played at the old basement right there. Nice. That's fun. It was fun playing there. <laughs> yeah. We're ditching. Nice. That's awesome. Really cool. All right, come on, your turn. <laughs> um, I guess I grew up like loving like Pantera and Deftones. Like you know, wait, serious? Deftones. I was just listening to Deftones because, in the car. Like, yeah, those were like my bands, and I had like every song. Yeah, you were CD. Home. I could play like every song and won like every one of their shows. But I, I want to. I rather be me. I enjoy being me. I feel like I have enough fun, and I think I have more fun than a lot of people that I look up to. You know, but you know they might be more popular, but I, I definitely have fun when I do all. Oh. I like hugs. Yeah. I but agree. I'm asking Alexander. That's a little bit of a I like hugs. Oh, he's like a. No, like it wasn't even like to. Like, because I was nervous. This is literally just because I wanted to be as weird as I could. I also got them to join a cult. Oh, weird. That's my goal. It's called the <laughs> Little Bean Cult that we decided to make up in the line. Uh, cults aren't bad. They just have a bad rep. They, they just have a bad rep. They're just hey, the, like they're make up one too. <laughs> I'm down to make a cult. I'm make a new one. I'm a life family. Cult. Hey, Red, we have a cult. Don't be an asshole. Not that cult. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Don't talk about I don't think they're cool enough to join that cult. Do you? Oh, she did for okay. so much shame. We, we, just, we just started her own. I'm just kidding. I think they would be. I don't know. They're cool. Do you think they're cool enough? Yeah. Do you think they're cool enough? Cool. Definitely. You guys want to join the so. hoe bag cult? The what? That's fun. That's fun. The what? The hoe bag cult? Hoe bag. Hoe bag. This is what happens when you stay up till 2 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, alright. Back to the topic at hand. <laughs> if you could tour with one band, who would it be? It didn't even go on. All time low. All time low? That'd be a cool one to tour with. I don't think I've seen them live yet. I was going to, and then I didn't. Because I was still in denial about Blink 182's Miss Singer. <laughs> oh, the guitar player? Oh, um, he's chasing aliens. I think I think a day to remember, just because they're super bouncy and, and fun, and are super bouncy and fun. I think it'd be a cool, a cool set. Yeah, day to remember. 
yeah, I think day to remember too. Uh, day to remember issues. Um, get scared. We we played this oh, band so you last played night. Get scared. Yeah, we played the That's band how I last saw night. You guys. Hard to hit. They were pretty hey. fun. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Wait, you did that one? I thought you didn't do that one. I That's thought, a secret oh, one. I thought the one before that oh, one he threw under his foot. I thought the clap was the one under. Hey, I'm just saying. I'm about to undo my hair right now. <laughs> Let's get, get down to business. You're going to do it. Oh. Ah, told you. Shit. So you want to do it. Don't worry, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> professional. <laughs> it's because I came up with it. No, this was the one I came up with. It's just hitting me. If you could play a new instrument, not the one you currently do or currently playing or whatever, what would it be? Uh, I'm hoping there's some drummers in here because I like drumming. <laughs> well, I already played the drums. Okay, hey, you know what? You can be a professional. I think, I think the trombone is pretty cool. What's on the piano? No, cello. Cello? Cello. <laughs> okay, just because you want to play oh, the dad played it. I think. <laughs> Too much. I think I do the violin or the cello. Ooh, we got some classy gentlemen here today. I like it. Not bad the violin. They didn't cello. say the kazoo. <laughs> I mean, it, grind, it gets my gears going. It raises them up. <laughs> Piano and violin together is like, God just spoke to me. Yeah, I agree. Crowds. That's because I play percussion, so I get to listen to all that jazz. Are we sure we did that one? Yeah. Come on, that was fun. Well, I, I, I <laughs> yes! want to uh, play out the ukulele. Ukulele. I used to have a ukulele. And then I realized I couldn't play it. <laughs> he, he Took like ten it. years. Every time I, like, I uh, try to like because my favorite song is over the rainbow or every time I try to oh. sing it, I just cry. So I was like kinda like Oh that's sad. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard to do. Sing it. Play the ukulele. It's that's so small. pretty. <laughs> It's pretty as long. Makes me think of oh, what's it called? I don't watch musicals, but it's that one with the Oz. Was it Oz? Somewhere uh, over the rainbow is originally on the Yeah, but it makes me think of who. I know things because of theater. Yeah, sweet. I did. I did that stuff in high school. I'm a draw. I'm like a nerd of performing. That's performance. awesome. I was too. I do acting too. I mean, I guess I still am. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite one. This is the one you did. Which one? <laughs> if you had to marry one other member oh, yeah. of the band, <laughs> who would it be? This is the one she came up with. So I, my conscience is clear. Good I question. To... That's a good one right there. A. He's just over there, like, oh my like, uh, god, uh, <laughs> enough. What is the most awkward answer? <laughs> I would say I would have to marry Bree because I never see her, so it must be like that. <laughs> She's pretty cool. I, just get sick of that. <laughs> so like, it's, I enjoy it's talking to her. She's pretty cool. I think I'd marry Alex just so that we'd get along better. <laughs> yes. All right, now, <laughs> now who would be the wife? I'm the boss who would be the wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it now. No, I wasn't going to be cooking you dinner. You need to go to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I love to cook and I love to eat. But See, I'm taking care of it. <laughs> <You're like, "No." laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> We're, We're all married. married. The cat. All married? Yeah. I guess I would marry her too. Snakes. Oh, crap, guys. Ooh. Love triangle. Competition. <laughs> She's like, she isn't ugly or nothing. So. Well, there's five of us, so I guess there's really an odd number. So somebody doesn't. I was about to say, Bree's probably going to be a problem. You're on the roll. <laughs> Who's your biggest musical inspiration? I've tried a few of them. You can name a few. Oh, I'm Mostly because everyone that. needs education in music, so. I would say... Did you just say Alanis Morissette? You said alive or I, dead. <laughs> That's clearly what's on my mind. The drummer for issues is like amazing. I think to inspire to be like him one day is a pretty good one. <laughs> He's an awesome drummer. I don't want Travis Barker though. 
I have videos on my YouTube mix that comes up of it just him doing like rehearsals in the studio and she's like, yes. Oh. I'm a drummer, I'm biased, I'm sorry. That's cool. That's okay. Um, I'm just trying to think of bands that I listened to when I really started seeing music, like bands I listened to caught my attention that I wanted to sound like or like practice my high notes with. And that would be a Skyward Drive. Oh, I love them. Because, you know, at my squeaky points of, in the beginning of me singing, learning how not to be squeaky. Everyone loves those points. It really points. taught me how to just open up and not, like, make it sound weird. It sound, he's a great singer. So. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He really is. What? Why are you pointing? Because you gotta choose who you look up oh. to. Like no, I just band. like I guess like band, like, like <laughs> I like Beatles and like Britney. They wrote some music that like live forever, and I feel like we're gonna write music that live forever too. That's some good stuff. Like, like, two pretty good bands have been really successful. I think that's really cool. I think we're going to get in that path if we just stay consistent. Of course we can. I almost threw the card. <laughs> Snap time! Intermission! Now we all play a game! <laughs> Who can throw the most cards the farthest? Just chuck me each other. <laughs> Everyone throws it and it goes, <laughs> on me. What's your favorite band that you have played with? What's like your like, favorite one to play with live? To play with? Like, they, like or like, well. Yes! Let's go with that. I could English. That we have English. that we haven't played with. Log in. Huh? Yeah, that you played with. Like, uh, I only know one of your toys because I suck at getting out. We probably all agree. You get scared. You might get scared. Show is definitely one of the most fun. We have yeah. yeah. people that we work with all the time. So my pals are like goofy. That was my so first time seeing like all of those dance live. But it was one of my really first cool. Dude, the stage presence with Get Scared was awesome. Yeah. Love them all. Yeah, they were all really good live. Mm -hmm. Okay, I actually did do that one. I have to check now. Now I'm paranoid that I'm going to throw one. What's your favorite con concert experience, being in the audience or being on stage? Like, what's one of your favorite like concerts you've been to? It was All Time Low. It's the first time I ever saw All Time Low. It was in the Murray Theater, and it just changed my life. It was fun. It's an old, old thing. Those are the fun ones, because those ones are probably hot. It's huge. Yeah, exactly. So it's 100 years old and huge as hell. It's fun. I wish I went there. I'd never done it. Yeah, no, same. Regrets. All right. Favorite concert experience? Uh, <laughs> she just keeps okay, so it. I know. I'm great. When we played War Tour, there's a video we got of me saying, like, Something and I sounded super feminine. It was so funny. <laughs> I need this video. Let's go, guys. I, I was like, all right, all right, guys, let's, let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And I, and I watched that video after, and I was like, oh. <laughs> I need this video now, man. You can't kill me hanging. <laughs> right? Favorite concert experience. I guess it was at the Murray Theater when I watched the issues because I knew where they were going to be out right after we played there multiple times. So right when they were done playing, I just like went straight in the back and you know met up with them. I was like, I got a present. And you know, we got all excited and we just like enjoyed it. That sounds really fun. It was kind of very fun. <laughs> You good? Throw it yeah. <laughs> Throw it <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Did you read that one? Yes! Are you positive? I don't know. They got me concerned. I shouldn't have brought them. I should have just rode the train. I'm just trying to steal your car. Why are you about this? See, he wants to ask you questions. No, now I'm scared. <laughs> 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 What's your favorite song to play of your guys'? Or, like, even covers. Like, what's just your favorite song to play? Live. In action. I think the bear market so far is my favorite. I really like Tommy Girl. I like that song too. That would definitely be my, my choice. Tommy Girl. I don't really like this one. 
I may have to listen to you. Now he's I mean, the bear market's a new this? song, so like, whoever's watching, if you haven't heard it, you'd be like, what? So I guess I should name something on the American team. I was going to say, it's okay, I was just being like. You good, fam? <laughs> <laughs> All right, favorite song to play live. I think um, One Day at a Time. It's because I think I'm because I'm really busy. The whole he likes to kick his feet up. Kicks constantly. I can tell because he keeps trying to kick my cards. It's his, it's his chance to get on the tables at bars <laughs> and like dance with people to kick their cups. Uh, <laughs> kick their cups off the table. <laughs> their cups. Dyslexia. You can kick a tub off a table. <laughs> you are instant respect. Definitely. Yeah. All right. I actually read this one. Kick it. Oh. <laughs> he just wants to read it. It's like I don't want to leave. <laughs> don't make me go. <laughs> don't make me go. Bring your hair as a What's your favorite song off the album? Listening to it or playing it? I don't. The EP. I can't oh. wait for it to get politically correct. Time to go. Time to go? I think as far as listening. <laughs> I keep stubbing him. I love it. Stubbing. <laughs> it's because I, I like all of it, but. Okay, time to go for me, the very end of the song is very emotional. But work for that booty. Bo it's booty, but I like to say booty. I like that song a lot. It's a cool, it's a very thought out structured song. It has a cool structure for you. I hate you so, sometimes. <laughs> just just for the kicks, I'll say work for that bowie. It's fun. It's cool to know things. So cool. Say it as if you're as if you're part of me. I mean a little. <laughs> Favorite song. No! <laughs> <laughs> That was cool. weird. Just close your hair. What a small bean. Edit out. I got you a tissue. You can cry into it. Grab your drink. No. I think I got some tissue. No. Just go ahead and answer while I try to compose my uh, uh, What was the question? <laughs> Who's your favorite? Do What's your favorite song? Favorite song? Favorite song? No. We have the piece because it was our first music video and we had <coughs> memory. I got to chase a girl around. Yeah, a ghost, a ghost lady. Ooh. Oh, I'll tell you. I forgot the answer. Like, I, I remember, but I forgot. Yeah, we filmed that in Ogden too at DNRs. It's shut down, but it's an old bar. Nice! It was cool. It was fun. It was. Yeah, my hair was flowing. You gotta watch that video if you have I've, I've watched it. I just like <laughs> clearly <laughs> am not doing so good at keeping things. That's okay. What made you want to join a band? Like in general, before even like I'm Alive came thing. What made you want to join a band? Just always wanted to play drums. Can't be a drummer by yourself, really, and have as much fun as a band. You can. You can, but like it's hard. So much more fun to do with all these other people. Make something together. So. I agree. Yeah. Make us imagine. Um, you know, so it kind of just came from you my very deep desire to help people and to. Translate that through something so people can understand and feel, you know, like love or feel like an emotion that they want to feel. That's why I write music. And in order to write music and get it out there for so many people, usually you want to do it with others because it's a very powerful thing when people come together and make songs. So that is why I joined a band. I came out of my mom's vagina and ate a guitar. Guitar kicking. Guitar. Guitar in the end. Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't know. I think it was because of MTV. MTV. I was five. I I played guitar since I was five. I watched MTV, Dire Straits. You know, I want my MTV. That's stupid. 
video was on like every other song. He, he was on Sesame Street. Yeah, I know. He uh, sent me the video, actually. I will show you. Petition to get music videos back on MTV, though. Come on, like seriously. Well, it's a music television. Exactly. They quit playing music. Like, now they're like going back to like ago. what's that song, 1985? <laughs> reality TV, like. They should. What? MTV Two should have been only reality shows. Yeah. Instead of just making, you know, there were too many reality shows on MTV, so they made it MTV Two for just oh, more nice. reality shows. And yeah. Then, now they should just music, music videos. videos. Come on. That was like fun. everyone that was fun. found everything. Yeah. Dude, he's got you guys all be like he's given like all these like deep philosoph philosophical uh, answers, and you guys are like philosophical. Yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> go. like my kind of answers. He's given those like teacher answers. You guys are being like me. <laughs> yeah, so, that he's, thing. He's got the microphone. Yes, <laughs> that's why he's got the microphone. Really, let's be real. <laughs> he got something to say. <laughs> I do. All right. My favorite question. Save yes. this one for the end. Right, what would be your stripper name? <laughs> <laughs> she um, talks about philosophical know. questions and then asks you this. <laughs> exactly. You know, gotta get the good ones and then stripper name. The night writer. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 